Hi guys, Ian from the Football Boost team and in this video we're going through a whole bunch of hacks, tips, tricks, things to improve your game, but are they real or are they fake? The first one we're going to talk about is how to stop your laces coming undone. So can you put candle wax on your laces? Is that going to help? Well, you can get grippy laces with silicon on them and you can get waxy laces as well. And the idea is they are harder to come undone. They will stay tied for longer. It is real. You can use candle wax on your laces to stop them from coming undone. Number two, can you use a banana skin on your football boots? Well, shoe polish contains potassium, as do bananas, and it does work. You can use a banana skin, rub it onto your leather boots. Doesn't work on normal boots, but leather only boots. It is fantastic. Bring out the shine and then give them a bit of a rub off afterwards. That one is real. Next one, you got super smelly boots. Can you go ahead and put them in the freezer and get rid of that smell? When you put boots in the freezer, all it does is it puts all of the bacteria and the things that are causing the smell to sleep. It doesn't kill them. It isn't mm. enough to kill them. So unfortunately, it will not work. That one is fake. Next one. Can you use a lemon to cure your smelly boots? Well, the answer is yes. This one is real. Just take the rind of the lemon and then put that inside your boots is going to make them smell lemony fresh and it is a nice natural deodorizer it will improve the smell of your boots the citrus is going to help you next one vaseline so goalkeepers this is a big hack that we've seen can you put vaseline on your gloves this one is real and the reason for putting vaseline on your gloves is it makes it they've got much better grip in those wet conditions but it does kind of damage the latex on the gloves so they won't last as long as you would find gloves lasting um, so it's great for pro players who get a lot of pairs of gloves but i wouldn't recommend doing it on your gloves because they're going to break and crack the latex a lot quicker and you're not going to be able to wear them for as long next one we're talking about grip socks a whole bunch of players are wearing grip socks nowadays people are cutting their um, socks so they can wear grip socks underneath but can you make your own grip socks should you make your own grip socks using some hot glue and putting that on some regular socks well this one is fake mm. don't do this one um, by the time you go and buy the hot glue gun and all that kind of stuff you might as well have spent 9.99 on a pair of actual grip socks they're going to do the job next one we're looking at this can you use a kitchen cleaning brush to clean your boots so it has a little water reservoir at the top there you can fill that up you can take this where you want and you can clean it it is a budget version of the boot buddy it absolutely works you can use it to clean the sides and the bottoms of your boots the bristles work fantastically well so this one is real next one you got stinky you got muddy laces can you just clean them in some washing up liquid well pull the laces out of your boots throw them into a little bowl give them a little wash up with the washing up liquid it will work wonders this one is real a super quick and easy way to wash your laces you can also do it with a bit of washing detergent if you want to just please make sure that they've dried out all the way before you then lace your boots up again okay next one we're looking at is all down to the color of your boots so wearing black boots or wearing colorful boots should you buy black boots performance wise Psychologically wise, red boots can give you a slight competitive edge. If you look at the research that's been done about wearing red shirts, it's all about the colors. But the reality of it is, is this one's fake. Just wear what color boots you want. It isn't gonna affect your game. Next hack, we're looking at, can you use polystyrene to create your own soft sock liner? So Adidas had their boost sock liners. There's some other um, sock liners that are made to be super comfy, but unfortunately you're much better off going and buying an actual sock liner, maybe from the chemist or somewhere like that because if you use polystyrene, it will just break down as you wear it. It's not gonna give you that bounce back. So that one is fake. Next one, can you use a toothbrush to clean your boots? Should you use a toothbrush to clean your boots? Well, this one is actually great. You can use it to get in all those little aspects of the sole plate if you really wanna get it super clean. You could even use an electric toothbrush if you want to. Please just make sure to throw away the toothbrush afterwards. Throw away that replaceable um, electric toothbrush head as well because you don't want to be brushing your teeth with these. But this one is real. If you want to get really clean boots, then this is the way to go. Very fine details using a toothbrush. Okay, next one. Your boots may be a little bit too narrow, maybe not quite long enough. Can you make them bigger? Can you make them wider? Can you make them fit your feet better? Well, this one is real. A shoe stretcher will do the job. As you can see, they can open up and stretch it. It works much better with your knit boots or your leather boots even are the best. Next one, if you're having trouble getting your boots on, can you use a deodorant spray to help you put them on? 
you spray around the heel of your boot, you will find that it does actually create a moderate lubricant. It just means your foot can slide into those boots just that little bit easier. So if you're having trouble, then it might be the way to go for you. Next one, the washing machine. Fake or real, can you put your boots in the wash? Well, this one is real. You can put them in the wash if they're knit boots. Don't put leather boots in the wash. They don't like getting so wet, but knit boots absolutely can go in the wash. The next one we're looking at is these little shoe sleeves. So can you wear these around the place instead of, well, you don't want to wear your boots around. You don't want to damage your boots on the concrete. You don't want to damage the floor with your boots. You don't want to get mud everywhere. So it's a fantastic way of keeping mud out your car, keeping mud out of the house, being able to wear in your boots. Hey, even in the office, if you want to, it's a way of breaking in your boots without actually having to wear them on the pitch. So that one is real. Next one, we're back to the candle wax. And can you use candle wax to waterproof your boots? So those knit areas, you can get some candle wax and you can rub it on over those areas. And then when you warm it up with a hairdryer, it will go translucent, you'll be able to see through it. And yes, this one is real. It will help water just pour away and the wax will waterproof those knit areas of your boots. Okay, next hack. Can you use newspaper to dry your boots out? Well, yes, this will help draw moisture out of your boots. You just fill them up with the newspaper, leave them overnight, it will draw the moisture out. The newspaper itself might get a bit wet, but the boots will dry out. You may have to do it a couple of times. It's a fantastic way of keeping your boots dry. So that one is real. Next one, you may recognize this. It looks quite similar to what we were showing you at the start of the video and that kitchen cleaner. Well, this is the official boot buddy. And as you can see, it's just a little bit more efficient. Next hack, we are looking at trying to get these stains out of our boots so if you play on 4g surfaces artificial pitches you might find you get those black stains on your boots well if you use an eraser you can get the stains off so this one is real just make sure you kind of keep consistently doing it because they build up it gets harder to get rid of but that one is real it works okay the next hack we're going to look at is can you clean your boots in the shower? Well, you may have seen the signs in the change room saying, please don't clean your boots in the shower. That's because they don't want you to fill the shower with mud and dirt and all the other stuff. But actually it works fantastically well to clean your boots. So you can do it at home or even with the hose outside. Next hack, can you use fluffy socks and a hairdryer to help your boots fit and mold to the shape of your feet? Well, those thicker socks will help you break in the boots with the warmed up boot. Um, it is real, you can do that. Next one. Scissors. Should you use scissors to cut your boots to make them fit you better? Again, if you're a pro player, then it might make them feel more comfortable, but really it's fake. You don't want to damage your boots because you're not going to be able to use them again. Uh, well, you can use them, but they're not ever going to go back to how they were before. Next hack we're looking at is how to wear your shin pads. So you can cut your socks like you would with the grip socks and you then make a sleeve using your sock that will sit over the top and then you tape around the ankle. So this one, is a good hack. This is how pros like to wear their socks and great for grip socks as well because you can have them on the bottom. Okay, now what about this as a lacing technique? Should you use wild different lacing techniques? Are they fake or real? Well, they are real. You can do all sorts of different lacing techniques to alleviate pressure around the feet. You can look at some running shoe kind of style hacks, the marathon runners hacks. What about those smelly feet? You can put some deodorant on your sock liner if you want and it can help with the odor issues of your boots. It also might make it slightly easier for you to put them on. Next hack, can you use a vacuum cleaner on your boots or shoes to remove mud? Well, this one is very much real in those knit areas. So it will vacuum really nicely in the knit areas and then you're gonna have to wipe or wash down the actual boot aspects. Next hack, can you personalize your boots with spray paint? Well, this one, it is real if you do a good job, but it is fake if you think about the fact you get that little bit of underspray and it just doesn't look as clean as perhaps getting a pro personalization done. Now, the next thing we're looking at is can you use deodorant spray on the sole of your futsal shoes to give you that little bit of extra grip on the pitch? This one, unfortunately, it's fake. It just doesn't work that well. Next trick we're looking at, the hot water trick. So if you soak your boots in warm water and wear them, will they shape a mold to your feet? Was Ronaldo right? Yes, he was. This is a great hack for breaking in those synthetic boots. Next one looking at is the boot claw. Should you use this to clean your boots? It also has a handy stud key on the other end. And this is quite good for that kind of hard, stubborn mud. Once it gets a bit wet, wetter and softer, then it's not so good, but it's very easy and quick to pick these up on Amazon. So I would say this is a good, cheap, quick 
hack and something that you should always have in your gear bag just in case you want to clean up those boots. All right, next one. We're looking at these, trying to get your laceless boots on. It's a little tricky, but there is a cheap budget hack even if you don't have a shoehorn. Just use a spoon. This one is real. It is real easy to slip on those boots using the spoon and very easy, very simple hack for you. Next one, we're going back to your lacing techniques again. So as you can see with this, it is a wild looking lacing technique. This one is off to the side. So you've got to be thinking about what you're doing. Some of the lacing techniques we talked about before work and others, they're just for show. And that one was just for show. That one was fake. Next tip, nail polish. Can you put nail polish on the end of your laces to create that new aglet to make it easier to get through? Well, the problem is, is it just gets a bit messy. It doesn't really work that well. It just still flakes around. So that one's fake. Next hack, tea bags. Can you put those in your boots to control the odor of your boots? To be honest, it doesn't work that well. We're gonna say that one is fake as well. Next hack, can you use a fabric sheet of wool to give you those more comfortable, warmer insoles? Well, this one is fake. Unfortunately, your foot slips and slides around on the wall. It doesn't really warm your feet up that much and your feet, aren't going to be particularly cold when you're running around. In fact, you're going to get a bit too sweaty. It's not a great hack at all. Don't try that. Next hack we're looking at is the garden hose. Now, I talked about this when we were talking about the shower. Yes, absolutely use the hose to rinse off your boots, blast off that mud. It's super quick, super easy. All you have to do is make sure you dry them out properly afterwards. You could use some of that newspaper. Okay, the next hack we're looking at is if your laces get broken, they get frayed, they get cut, if you've got a problem with your laces having snapped, can you get them back through? Can you make a new aglet? Well, you can if you heat the end of the lace and melt it enough. You can then use a pair of pliers to shape it into the right shape and then you better pull it through and lace them up again. Obviously, a new pair of laces isn't that expensive, but if you need to, very quickly, you can fix them up by doing that. So that one is real too. All right, guys, let me know your favorite hacks in this video. Thanks for watching. Go enjoy your football.